Welcome back. According to national fire statistics, winter home fires kill nearly 900 Americans every year. It's especially tragic since most of those fires can be easily prevented. Here with more, please welcome FEMA's new regional administrator, Mike O'Hare. It's good to have you here. Good welcome. Here, thank you very much. What were you doing before you came to Seattle? Well, thank you. So this is uh, uh, this is my first interview as uh, in, I've been awesome. in the job for a month. So uh, pr prior to that, I was the director of Homeland Security and Emergency Management mm -hmm. for the state of Alaska. So I've been here about a month, and this is my first uh, formal interview in my office, and so it's, it's That's awesome. an honor to be here. I feel very safe with you here. Thank you. I feel safe being here with you as well. <laughs> so this is this is great. So we know that FEMA responds to sure. emergencies. As a regional administrator sure. for this, what what does your territory cover, sure. and what are your responsibilities? Sure. I, I'm responsible for uh, preparedness, the federal preparedness response and recovery coordination for uh, state of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Alaska. Um, and so what are kind of the biggest concerns in there? I always think sure. of earthquake sure, as absolutely. something you guys have to be prepared for. Uh, earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, fires, we, we see them all. Mudslides, as we all know, right. we've been talking about. Uh, and and um, it all boils down to individual and family preparedness. Are we right. prepared for the disasters in our area? And, and how prepared do you think we are? I'm going to ask you the question. I so, think we're not prepared enough. I think it is, it's tough. You know, sometimes you remember to do those things at home. Um, sometimes people just don't understand the instructions, like yeah. make a plan where you're yeah. going to meet. Well, I don't know. What's what's yeah. my problem? So we've got some, <laughs> right. So we've got some great resources for that. And and it's a it's a tough issue to talk about if you make it tough. But having having the understanding with your family sitting around a dinner table for a dinner conversation mm -hmm. is one way to do it. Kids want to learn. Right. Kids want to know what to do because they, they want to be, be part of it. Uh, and it doesn't have to be so scary. So having the conversation, hey, Dad, what do we do You know, if a fire happens? What's the escape routes and those types of things? Where's the fire extinguisher? It's, really it's being important. prepared. And it's having a simple conversation. Yeah. The fire extinguisher is important. Sure. To have one upstairs, downstairs sure. if you have that. And everybody should have one. And those are easy to get. Let's talk about some of the other things that we can do in the winter. Because the winter fires yeah. are, are largely preventable fires. Absolutely. Uh, just the result of doing some things in the winter we don't normally do. So so uh, l let's talk about um, uh, smoke, smoke detector, smoke mm -hmm. alarms. Absolutely vital in a household. You need to have them, number yeah. one. And uh, they need to work. Yes, they need to work. So so change the batteries twice a year. Test them once a month. It's just pushing a button and then mm -hmm. see if it works. And it's loud and it's annoying, but it will save your life. Uh, if you don't have them, they're relatively inexpensive. Red Cross has a great program that uh, that helps community emergency response teams uh, in the area to, to deliver them uh, to houses that can't afford them. Right. So uh, there's some great resources out there that, that to have them and get them. And then carbon monoxide detectors. Yeah, and uh, are you a believer in the in the gizmos that are both a fire a smoke detector and the carbon dioxide any detector? Any gizmo that, that can enable somebody to understand what's happening in their house and what to do about it, uh, I'm all about. Okay, sure. let's talk about space heaters. Sure. Because it normally doesn't get super cold here, but every now and then it does, yeah, and the somebody will off. Pull out the space heater. Mm -hmm. What are the things sure. you need Ma to know? Sure, make sure there's no combustibles within three feet of that of that heater. Uh, make sure that that heater is not plugged into an extension cord or a power strip. Uh, it really, really, oh, okay. absolutely. Uh, um, it it it's one of the, the biggest causes of fires. Is maybe not necessarily the space heater, but having that space heater attached to a power strip. Um, causes a lot of fires I as would well. have thought that would be safer so see there I have a lot to learn about it, that it's as well. understanding uh, and and having those conversations and right. and having some great resources with the state of Washington uh, if you google Washington emergency management they've mm -hmm. got a wonderful uh, website that shows all of the uh, tools that you'll have to understand and then how to plan for any disasters whether it be fire fire safety Floods, earthquakes, tsunamis, the whole, the whole the shooting whole match. Magilla. Yeah, they do Thank a great you. job. We yeah, will, sure. We'll put that up on our website. Absolutely. I appreciate it very and, and there's also ready, ready.gov, is uh, FEMA's website that also has some great tools as well. Super. Um, we've got uh, family emergency plan, which is real simple to use, you know, have, having a communication plan. Thank you. you we'll bet. put that up, but I have to stop you. We're out of time. We'll be right back. We'll